I'm going to show you how to make these absolutely delicious, easy and gluten-free cinnamon rolls. Let's go! So for this recipe, we need 450 milliliters of water, 7 grams of dried yeast, 1 egg, 500 grams of gluten-free bread flour mix. Now I use one that's very similar to Dove's Farm white bread gluten-free flour mix. If you have access to that, please use that. It works absolutely perfectly. You need 25 grams of psyllium husk powder. Please don't skip this. It's extremely important. The recipe doesn't work near as well if you don't put the psyllium husk powder. I've tried it. Believe me, you need the psyllium husk powder. You also need 100 grams of sugar. I use uh, brown cane sugar, 5 grams of salt and 75 grams of butter at room temperature. Make sure you use a digital food scale. Don't forget, gluten-free baking, especially baking bread, is extremely tricky. You need to have the exact measurements. So don't skip this either. So the first thing you do is you put your water in a big bowl, add the dried yeast and sprinkle a little bit of sugar on the yeast. This is going to make sure that it activates it. Leave it for about 5-10 minutes until it's activated. So after about five, 10 minutes, you will see these little bubbles starting to appear. That means the yeast is activated. Yay. <laughs> and we can now add all the other ingredients. So basically what I just do is I'll just add all the ingredients one after the other, and then I'm going to mix it all. You'll see. So once you've added all the ingredients, you are going to have to mix all this thoroughly. Now it's a lot easier if you have one of these, just an electrical hand uh, mixer with, with the kneading hooks, right? It's going to take you a good five minutes to mix it all. Let's go. Okay, and that's it. It did take me about five minutes because the butter needs to blend in uh, with the liquid and the flowers and everything. But look, it's a bit sticky. Don't let that frighten you. Don't you worry. This is kind of what it looks like. Okay, so now we get to let this rise. It's going to rise for at least an hour and it's going to get all nice. So what I suggest you do is you put this in a place that's warm and a bit humid. It must not be too hot, otherwise it won't raise. I put it in my cold oven with a bowl of steaming hot water. I then close the door of the oven. It creates a nice humid environment and the dough really raises beautifully. Let's do that. So now here's what the dough looks like after it's risen. So for the filling, you need 100 grams of butter, 150 grams of sugar, I use brown cane sugar, and 6 grams of cinnamon. Just put all this in a bowl, pop it into the microwave and melt it. So when the butter's melted, it will look like that and just give it a really good mix. So now comes the tricky bit. You are going to have to make the cinnamon buns. So take a nice big rectangular sheet of non-stick paper and flour it. Just sprinkle quite a bit of gluten-free flour on there. So once you've done that, you are going to put the dough on here and we're going to make a nice big rectangle. So put the dough on here on the non-stick baking paper, add a little bit of flour. Don't, don't be frightened of adding quite a bit of flour. <laughs> you don't want it to stick. And then just use a rolling pin and roll your dough, make a nice big rectangle. You're going to have too much dough, don't worry about it, just, just roll it nice and flat. So this is what it looks like when it's rolled out. It's a little bit messy, just bear with me. We're going to just cut the edges, make a nice rectangle, just like this. There you go, just like this. This is what it looks like. And now I'm simply going to spread this, my sugar, butter and cinnamon mix, onto this sheet of dough, right? And there you go, that's what it looks like. And now we get to roll the dough, just like, a, just like a Swiss roll. You see, we get to do like that and like that, all the way 
There you go. Now we're going to cut this in 12 pieces and that will be 12 cinnamon rolls. So you simply cut them with a knife and you place them in a non-stick baking tray just like this. And that's it. We're going to let them rise again before cooking them. So there you go. This is what they look like after half an hour. As you can see, they've puffed up really nicely. Now I'm going to pop them into the oven, 180 degrees for about 35 minutes. So here they are after half an hour. I'm going to let them cool down for about five minutes and I'm going to prepare the icing. So for the icing, you simply mix 150 grams of icing sugar and 30 milliliters of milk. You can also have the buns without icing. I think they're sugary enough, but my kids love a bit of icing on top of them, so I make it for them. <laughs> so this is really super easy. You simply mix it and you'll see it turns out just perfect. It's a little runny, but it, it, it's, it's brilliant. It's delicious. <laughs> Pure sugar, but it's delicious. <laughs> so then what you need to do is you just simply gently uh, cut the cinnamon buns out like that look at that they're beautiful this is all thanks to the psyllium husk powder remember i told you don't don't forget to put it in well that's what it does it allows it to to bind together and then you put them on a plate and we get to put some icing and then you simply put a little bit of icing on it it depends you might have more or less of a sweet tooth so put more or less icing and that is it now let's test it hmm oh my goodness it's just delicious just as well i don't make them every day <laughs> i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a like if you have any questions at all please post them in the comments below the recipe is also on my website easyandglutenfree.com you will find the link in the description underneath this video if you have a special request for a particular easy and gluten-free recipe, let me know in the comments as well. If you enjoyed this recipe, maybe you'll enjoy this one next. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.